Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. Before we begin to start, I want to welcome you to the number one educational channel for CAD, CAM, and CNC. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit the like button and put the comments down below. I'm constantly looking at those comments and answering your questions in our daily vlog. I'm over here at the DMU 50 from DMG Mori and uh, we're getting ready to cut some chips. So we are tooling it up. Uh, last week I was in Tennessee uh, speaking at a huge conference and it was absolutely amazing. But I was missing my baby. I couldn't wait to get back here. So now it's time to set this thing up and discuss the tooling that we actually decided to use, all right? So we actually went with Shunk Vices and a Shunk Barrel S Clamping Station, all right? So basically it's like a pallet with modules on it. You can actually see it right in here. And it's a quick change, super rigid setup, all right? So it's kind of funny because I'm usually teaching people about clamping and about fixturing and about doing everything, right? But in this particular case, I was actually working on my big chess board and getting ready for IMTS. And I went on LinkedIn and I said, hey, what is the best way to fixture this like 600 pound beast of material? And a lot of people were saying the barrel S. And I actually didn't know what it was. So I actually went in, I saw that it was a shunk platform and I actually started looking at the mechanics behind it and I was like, man, I don't think this is necessarily perfect with my chest board, but as far as when it comes to the DMG and the Mori and running all the aerospace parts and everything, it is absolutely rigid. It's amazing and it's super quick, right? So it's all about efficiency. So before I actually show you how the vices lock into the table, let me just explain something. All right, so this pin right here actually locks into the bottom of the vise. Boom. Okay, and you can see that there's two of them which keeps it not only locked in, but it keeps it perfectly straight and the two vices parallel, all right? And the repeatability on these things is insane. So basically how this thing works is we actually created an air hose right here, all right? So we have a female right here, we have a male right here. So the clamping station is locked. All I have to do is actually come over here and it opens, see that? See, watch in there, I'm gonna release it. Oh, it locks in place, all right? So all I have to do now is put the air on, it drops in place, take the air off, it's locked, it cannot move. Boom. All right, so air on, and there you go, all right? Super quick and super efficient. So before we actually turn on the camera, we actually indicated the clamping station, the barrel S in place and locked it down, all right? So now all I have to do is grab this guy, the KSG vise and, and just lock it in place, all right? So now this thing is locked in, but you can still pull it out, see that? So now, I just grab this guy. Ooh, these guys, there's some rigid stuff right there. So I don't want to grab it too much by the handle. So I'll grab this. All right, so as you can see, two vices, and they're absolutely perfect, all right? We've got our hard jaws inside, okay? All I have to do right now, basically take off the air, Boom, that's it, check it out. So now, oh, it's rock solid. That is a beast, look at that. So this thing is locked in there super tight, right? And, and the cool thing is, it's like if I want one vice or two vices, I can put one or I can put two, I can keep switching it up. I'm gonna show you something that's really cool, right? Because sometimes you don't want vices, you want pallets to go on here, right? So I'm gonna actually take these guys back off. You can't do anything. Pop it in there. All right, so 
Let me let me explain this to you, all right? These are vices. I'm using two of them on a five-axis table, and they're running parallel with each other, okay? Because I'm over here trying to get my machine running. My son's running machines down there, and he's cutting ink in out as we like speak. Machines just like stealth mode, making it happen. So this is my piece of material. So this material is gonna go right between the two vices, all right? But what if I actually am running like a, a different type of five axis piece, and I don't actually want this guy to actually be on the side, and I don't wanna take my talent stations off the table. Well, check out this. This is the KSX five axis vise. This thing is a beast, it's so rigid. And this is a pallet, okay? So this pallet actually has the same pins underneath, and there are four of them. So if I wanted to, I could actually put the pins on top of this vise and taking the vise and actually popped it into the system, but I wanted to center the vise on the table, and I didn't actually want to take out my barrel S off my table, right? I got it aligned, I got a pin in here, I got it all locked down. I don't want to do that, okay? So what I did was I created a pallet system and we actually hooked the vise straight to the pallet system, all right? So this is a beast, now watch it. So I can pick this up, boom. That's not going anywhere, all right? So you already can't move it, but then I just take this guy off, boom, and it is locked solid to do all the five axis work. Boom, complete beast mode. All right, so now I'm gonna put this back on. All right, so the vise is on the table, but it's not locked down yet. So all I have to do is release it. And now the pallet with the vise on is locked solid, okay? One of the other cool things about this vise is that when you open it, all of a sudden you see this ring right here, okay? So what's cool is on my other vices, I actually have torque wrenches and we call out our torque spec on our setup sheet so we don't crush the parts or we crush them enough. The cool thing here is you don't need a torque wrench because the torque dial of the mechanics is basically built into the vise. So I just rotate this guy, right? So I'm gonna go all the way over. I'm gonna go to 40 kN, all right? Now I live in California, what does that mean to me? This is a kilonewton, so that's 40 kilonewtons. You have to basically take one kilonewton and figure out how many foot-pounds that is. And we know that it's 225 foot-pounds, okay? So basically to figure out 40, I just go 40 times 225. That comes out to 9,000. So if I have my setting dialed here, that would be 9,000 pounds of pressure right here, all right? And then all I do is basically get it in the position, pop this bad boy on, and then it just locks in, just like a regular torque wrench, all right? So, and then it just pops in. So one of the cool things is this steel pallet right here could be aluminum, it could be thicker. Whatever your genius can think of, you can basically like lock in and lock out in seconds, all right? So we have a vise now, but you can take the vise off you can actually picture a whole bunch of different parts on here and then have preset tools in a library. So when you actually come into a new setup, all you'd have to do is basically grab the pallet, turn the air on, lift it up, and then you grab this guy, make sure you're fully clean, make sure you're good, we cleaned it previously. Boom. Lock that in place. Lock that in place. Take this out. Boom. It's set. Pop that guy over there. Even that, look at that. See this little handle right there? One of my employees, Jeff, actually took it upon himself to bend this 
so that we could actually put our hoses right there. So now that I got these locked in, let me just give you a clear understanding of how the torque features work on these vices, all right? So I can grab it right here, or they have a bigger dial that you can use. This is easy. So basically I can just dial it here, dial it here. Got a three and a half inch by seven inch piece of rectangle aluminum, cut 15 and a half inches. So I'm gonna pop this guy in here, open the vise, boom. Make sure it's semi straight right there or you can use a stop. Now watch it. So you can see it right here. I'm gonna actually close the gap, boom, boom, boom. Close the gap, boom, boom. Now it's locked right there. See that guy right there? I'm just gonna move it over to 40, okay? So I'm just gonna move it right there, boom, 40. So I'm gonna move that over the 40 right there, boom. Now I'm gonna close it. And then I'm gonna put the handle on and lock it. Lock it, boom, all right? So now this guy is locked in place. So now, if I wanna open them, I can open them like this, and my hand can simply open it. See that? Boom, boom, okay? But, if I don't wanna do that with my hand all the time, then they have these rings right here. So you take these rings, basically pop this over here, Boom, pop this guy over here. Boom. Lock it. All right, so now it locks like this guy, or you can use this little handle right here. Boom. Boom. And then this guy simply goes in here. Boom. Boom. There you go. 9,000 pounds of pressure on this side and this side, totaling 18,000 pounds of pressure holding this big old chunk of billet Oh, and that's what you call a beast of a setup. So I got my shunk vices in there, I got my shunk setup, the Barrel S. Uh, I got my can of metal tooling in here, and we're ready to rip some chips. It's gonna happen, machine gunning. Oh, uh, let's go, baby. All right, you guys have a great day out there. I will see you on the next video. Boom.